Another news this afternoon, five fire firefighters and a baby are hurt after a seven alarm fire in the Bronx. That massive blaze broke out in a grocery store in Concourse Village and quickly spread. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Fleischer spoke with residents. He is live at the scene. Tim? And that seven alarm fire certainly took its toll on this building. Let me show you the fire officials say believed to be started in that grocery store on the first floor. It then spread up into the other five floors very quickly. And also a baby and five firefighters were injured. Having fallen down a flight of stairs, this firefighter was taken away on a stretcher. One of five firefighters injured while battling a smoke filled blaze at the corner of McClellan Street and Sherman Avenue. I just looked outside of, um, my, my window, that's the kitchen right there, and, um, and I saw all that smoke coming out, and I, then everybody started, um, the alarms started coming out. And Those alarms first going off just before 5.30 this morning. It spread to seven alarms. Keeping up with this, fire officials say, was very difficult. It got into what we call a void space in the walls between the first floor and the top floor. So it took multiple hose lines, many firefighters to open up the walls and the ceilings. It then moved into the cockloft space below the roof and then spread very quickly. Residents began evacuating in the streets. Holding on to loved ones, they could only hope that some of their possessions could be saved. This is all I have left on me. I didn't take my phone. I didn't take nothing. I just took my dog and my son and my husband. That's it. Still trying to get the upper hand on this fire, officials launched a drone that provided critical video. That can actually help us develop our strategy and tactics on how we're going to cut off the fire. And that drone did come in handy today. Many residents are now being helped by the Red Cross with food and shelter. Henry Cologne's mother was able to safely escape. We don't know anything yet. You don't know what she might have lost or might still be able to save? Nope. We haven't been inside the building. We don't know. That nine-month-old baby, we are told, suffered serious injuries, but they are also non-life-threatening.